Hello everybody, how are you? Haven't seen each other in a couple of days. I just got back from Bismarck, um, spent the night there with my husband for our anniversary. It's not until the 16th, but we had some friends going down to Bismarck anyway. So we thought, why not go down there, um, have a night away from the kiddos and celebrate our anniversary. So we are back now and ready to hang out. Hello Tracy, how are you? How is everyone doing? Super easy dessert tonight. Super fun for the kids to help. Hi, Chris. Hello, Sue. Um, nothing fancy, nothing special, but super yummy and delicious. Pretty fail-proof and pretty personalizable. You can change it up, throw in some chocolate chips with it, white chocolate chips, raisins, whatever you want, nuts, pecans, cashews, whatever. Hello, Laura and Lacey. Hello, Dad. Hello, Deb. How are you guys? Don't forget to share into any... Um, Facebook groups that you want to or your first personal Facebook page invite who you want to just don't start a watch party because then we can't see those people we can't talk to them if they have a question about pampered chef or the recipe we can't answer it for them um, so just make sure you do a straight share if you want to share hello Maureen Marissa Rose Kumar thank you for the happy anniversary Cindy Sherry Buffy yes my anniversary is on the 16th but we decided to go to Bismarck and celebrate it early and it was so fun we went out on the lake or on the river on a pontoon and hung out in the sun and then went out late um, to have appetizers at on um, the Blarney Stone which I'm sure if you're in Bismarck you've heard of it super super yummy place to have appetizers and stuff like that so that is what we did this weekend hello Alicia Nicole Jamie Linda how is everyone doing thank you for sharing you guys um, I am also going to talk to you about this super awesome thing that we're doing with pampered chef just until tomorrow at midnight is the cutoff for it but we have some items that are on sale and if you order them on my link you get entered in to a giveaway to win the most adorable 5.5 inch um, cast iron skillets and they are to die for cute and really fun for making little um, like little cookies or s'mores or whatever we have a lot of amazing recipes that go in them and um, just by buying one of our sale items you get it for for on sale and then you get entered in to win something free. So we'll talk a little bit about that to you guys. Hello, Courtney and Deb, Terrell, any of my um, coworkers that are on Pampered Chef, feel free to share this into any of your blog parties that are going on right now. I totally am okay with that. You guys, check out my new apron. So excited for it. It's awesome. It has my dopamine friends on here, has mom feeling hungry boys and my pampered chef logo. Super awesome. I love it. I'm so excited. Um, my, my friend Crystal with um, Crystal's Customs Apparel actually um, ordered it and customized it for me, right? Um, local, if you're all about supporting local, she's a North Dakota girl, um, runs her own business, woman, Native American doing it on her own so if you want to support her it's crystal customs apparel she is awesome i will link her in the comments of this video so that you guys can check out some of her work some of the stuff she's done locally hello tammy how are you how is it going you guys let's see sometimes tagging stuff works and sometimes it doesn't like me so I tried to link Crystal Customs Apparel on my iPad, but it doesn't want to do it. So I will do it on my computer when we are all done. Hello, Bobby and Jenny, Brianne, Barbara, Tammy, Mike. Hello, you guys. Thank you, Bobby. I love my apron. I love it, love it, love it. Um, all right, you guys, we've already hit one giveaway 40, 80, 120 live views. We've never gone over 120 that have stayed there through the length of the video. But if we get past 120, the next goal is 160. And for every goal that we hit, it is one Pampered Chef giveaway um, that I buy for you. Um, super awesome deal, you guys, just for sitting here and hanging out with me. Oh, Deb, just got my nails did. Couldn't decide on a color, so we just kind of went with a bunch of them. Love them. So glad I can go back to the nail salon again. Hello, Doodles, Michelle, Heather. Hello, you guys. We are making the easiest, most scrumptious food today ever. All right. Super easy to make. Um, you can use a regular bunt pan if you want, but today... 
since I have it, I might as well use it. And this is my Pampered Chef mini bun pan. And I'm obsessed with it, not only because they're mini and that's adorable, but because of the color on the backside is my favorite too. <laughs> so we're gonna be making little baby monkey breads, which I love, because then I hopefully won't eat too much of it. Usually I make monkey bread and I eat half of it and I'm sick to my stomach and I'm mad that I did it. So hopefully that's not gonna be the plan. All right, hello Alexis. We are gonna get started, you guys. This recipe will not take long at all. Um, but I did want to talk to you guys a little bit before we get started. Just super, super quick. I already talked a little bit about it. We're going to just go over it right now. Um, it's a 24-hour summer fun sale. Okay, so you see those items. We have wine tumblers. Um, these are our picnic sets. Um, awesome. This right here keeps your food cold. You put it in the freezer, and then you put your uh, potato salad or your macaroni salad or whatever it is you need to keep cool in there, and you take it out to a picnic, and it stays that way. These are those lovely like fruit and vegetable trays that you can buy for way too much money at the grocery store. All these things are on sale right now. The catch is I have a link in the body of this post that's on my page, you guys. It's on my Mom Feeling Hungry Boys page. There's a link there. And if you buy any of these items or more, you have to at least buy one of these items. Um, you will get entered in to win the set of 5.5 inch mini cast iron skillets. And what's cool about those, you guys, is you can make those little um, individual baked cookies that they do at restaurants. You can do these amazing s'more recipes. And um, if I win them, because I have the opportunity to win them as well, I will be doing all sorts of the different recipes on my page so that you guys can see them and see how fun um, you can really make those little cast iron skillets that they're giving away for free just for ordering, okay? So awesome. Monkey bread is the best, you guys. It really is. Thank you, Betty. All right, so oven is at 350. We are just going to get um, our, I want to get our ingredients on the stove to start melting because this is going to be the yummy ooey gooey caramel goodness that keeps our monkey bread together so what we are going to do is we are going to put in um a cup of butter it doesn't matter if it's salted or unsalted I hate these little little mini ones. Hello, Alexis. I am doing good. You finally got your pretzel maker, and you're so excited to make pretzels and post a picture on my page. Yes, Alexis, that is awesome. Um, Charity, if you are on here watching right now, I'm so bummed. Your gift went to the host that I bought it from on accident, but I'm going to go this week into town and get it from her so that I can ship it back off to you. So I'm sorry about that. Hello, Rosemary. All right, so that's my oven, 350, you guys. Um, then we want a cup of butter, and we want, hold on. We're going to bring this mixture to a boil. So in a saucepan, we're going to combine half a cup of the remaining cin cinnamon sugar mixture. We're going to do half a cup of brown sugar and a cup of butter. So here we go, half a cup of brown sugar. You guys, I love these from pampered chef they keep your brown sugar nice and fresh it stops it from um getting hard and gross and dried out it's little terracotta discs um you can buy them on pampered chef and you just soak them in water for a little bit before you put them in to whatever container you have your brown sugar in and it keeps your brown sugar nice and fresh i probably haven't touched this brown sugar in two months and it's still nice and soft and pliable and awesome so just half a cup of packed light brown sugar. You don't want the dark brown sugar. It's got just a little bit too much molasses in it, and it will cause it to be very, very taffy and very sticky and gross. So I do recommend light brown sugar for this recipe. I forgot my towel, you guys. We've washed my Pampered Chef towel that I normally have attached to me, and I forgot it. Made the turkey burgers this weekend and they turned out so good. That's awesome. Cassidy still hasn't come. I, feel, I think I deleted the email. Cassidy, I can follow up with it for you. We are experiencing delays, but I'll, I'll follow up for you. Hello, Patricia. I'm glad you are here. Susan Bestie. Hello, Tori. Hello, you guys. What is going on? Okay. Cup of butter. Half a cup of brown sugar. Light packed brown sugar. Um, and I'm going to get this onto the stove. 
so that it can start melting. And after we are done with our cinnamon sugar, we're gonna use it um, and put it into there with everything else. So what we are gonna do is we are gonna combine a cup of sugar. I filled my sugar container too full and I can't even put the lid on it now. Um, what I love about these measuring cups that I got from Pampered Chef, and I don't know if they're back in stock yet, you guys, and I'm sorry about that, is it comes with this little, this little guy, so I don't have to use a knife to level out my ingredients. Um, instead, I've just dumped a bunch on the floor because I filled that up too much. But um, a cup of sugar. Hello, Mary Jo. I know it was so windy in Bismarck today, and mine not too. I saw, Mike, I saw your very, very unhealthy Brussels sprouts on the What's for Dinner page. Hello, Katie. How are you? Hello, Kellen. What's up? So a cup of sugar, two teaspoons of cinnamon in a bowl or a bag. Um, so here we go. I got out my measuring spoons. There we go. So we just need two teaspoons of cinnamon sugar. What I like to do is if the kids are helping me, I like putting the cinnamon and sugar into a Ziploc bag and then I put the biscuits in there and let them do the shaking and the mixing and the tossing around just to get the kids involved. So if you've got kiddos doing this with you, don't use a bowl, use a bag and let those kiddos help you. Let them do all of the work getting this cinnamon sugar all mixed in for you. Hello, Darren, what is up, dude? What is up? I'm gonna show you have had a bunch of monkey bread before. So we've got all this mixed in. Now we are going to take our biscuits. Hold on, we want how much? Half of a cup of this. Half of a cup of this in our caramel over there on the stove. So I'm pretty sure that's what it says. In a small pan, half a cup of the remaining cinnamon sugar mixture. And then you can either get rid of the rest when we're all done tossing it, or you can um, save it for another recipe that you're gonna make. So we're gonna take these, and we are going to quarter them. I like to use my scissors in the kitchen, you guys. You know me and my scissors. So over there on the stove, you guys, just medium heat. The butter, the brown sugar, the cinnamon, and the sugar, we are just letting that melt up and you just wanna keep an eye on it because once it starts to simmer or boil, you wanna pull it off the heat and just let it, let that sugar dissolve in there by stirring it every once in a while. Um, it will retain a lot of the heat, so you don't need to leave it on the stove once it boils. Hello, Sherry. So I love, you guys love using my kitchen scissors to do this recipe. Yes, Mary Jo, kids love to help with dessert recipes. Honey butter biscuits. Yep, mine, I use the butter tasting, the butter tasting biscuits. On this recipe calls to use the buttermilk ones. You can use whatever biscuits you like. They even have the Hawaiian roll biscuits now. So it's like the Hawaiian sweet rolls in a biscuit form. So you can even use those if you want to. Hello, Crystal. <laughs> Such a violent cooking recipe. Always, always slicing and dicing and chopping and mixing. So I'm gonna just take this and I'm just gonna toss these around a little bit, roll them around in the cinnamon and the sugar. Like I said, it's easier to do it in a bag, but since the kids aren't here, I just figured I'd do it here like this. Just get them nice and tossed around. Always make monkey bread for Christmas morning. One regular like you're making and butterscotch. Ooh, I've never done a butterscotch one. Like I said, you guys can add chocolate chips, butterscotch chips, um, raisins, nuts, anything like that. My family doesn't like nuts and we just love caramel. And so that is what we do, nothing super fancy. All right, so just toss those around a little bit and then you're gonna take them and we're just gonna kind of divide them up. Um, if you are using just a big bunt pan, you're just gonna wanna spread them out around the bunt pan in a circle, but I'm just making little bunties. So we're just gonna kind of spread them around. Remember, they will poof up, you guys, okay? So you're gonna wanna leave a little bit of extra room. You don't wanna overfill them. They will poof up and kind of calm back down once you pull them out of the oven, but they will go kind of crazy if you overfill them. 
Yes, Crystal, do it. Hello, Jaden. Hello, hello. Never heard of monkey bread before I moved to North Dakota. Me either. I had not heard of it either, you guys. All the things that North Dakota opens me up to, like monkey bread and tater tot hot dish. <laughs> all the the waistline fulfilling foods all right i'm gonna pop over here you guys to the stove and check on our little melted butter mixture we have going on get that brown sugar nice and mixed up your main goal with putting it on the stove is to melt that sugar you don't want hard granules of sugar in your monkey bread it does still happen sometimes i'm definitely not a monkey bread professional so sometimes there is a little bit of a gritty um, cinnamon sugar taste to it, but it never stops us. So just keep that in mind. Yep, hot dishes. It's warm here, but it is super windy. So we are dealing with like 80 degree weather with like 30 mile per hour winds. Hello, Deb. 81 viewers, you guys. I'm like, why is she saying 81? I was just clueless. Yes, you guys, two giveaways. If they stay there through the length of this show, we will do two Pampered Chef giveaways. Hello, Patsy. Hello, Pedrani. How are you? Hello, Sherry. I have no idea either, Mary Jo. And monkeys like it. Little baby monkeys. I call my kids monkeys, so maybe that's why. Good thing we moved to North Dakota, right, Marissa? All the things we would have missed out on if I stayed in Las Vegas. I wouldn't have met my husband and had my two kiddos, that's for sure. So let's not even think about it. North Dakota is just where I was meant to start my life. Hello, Katie Lakin. Hello. I hope you guys are doing well. We are just making some monkey bread right now. We are tossing the biscuits in some cinnamon and sugar and then we're kind of just moving them around into little mini bunt pans you can use a full-size bunt pan if you'd like um i have this mini bunt pan and i love mini things so that is what i decided to use today i am going to probably have some extra biscuits that won't fit in my mini bunt pans but i can always make another batch once those come out of the oven because they're so easy to throw together 90 with 20 to 30 winds, 93 humidity. Holy Toledo, that is humid. I know exactly, Susan. We would never would have met in Magic City Hoagie. If you guys live in Minot, that's where Susan and I met. And now we're besties for life. All the things in the world that, that happen. I'm going to check on our yummy caramely mixture on the stove here in a second because we want to make sure once it starts to boil that we pull it off of the heat let the cinnamon and sugar melt perfect here we go so i'm just going to set this right here you guys stirring it every once in a while until that cinnamon and sugar melts up together I'm gonna just whisk it really quick. Get it all nice and incorporated. It's gonna be so yummy. <laughs> Thank you, Melissa. I just got my floors redone. Be very, very careful with this mixture, you guys. It is hotter than hot, 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 hot. And all you're wanting to do with this process is melt those sugars together, okay? That is our goal. Yes, Philip, North Dakota is a lovely place. I really do love it. Windstorm in Butte, Montana, it knocked out of the power and trees and shingles. It was crazy. Now it's hailing and raining. That sounds like end of the world type stuff. Scary, scary, scary. <laughs> Susan's laughing. Um, Melissa, I cannot for the life of me remember, but I would definitely send me a message and I will tell you the exact flooring that it is. Um, because it's awesome and it's um vinyl planking is what it's called and it's awesome because it just snaps together there's no grout lines or anything like that super sturdy for the kids and stuff like that highly highly recommend the floors that we got here we go you guys so now that our mixture we've dissolved all of our sugars together we're going to carefully drizzle this over our little dough balls Hello, Eileen, how are you? Yes, Melissa, you are welcome. So we're gonna carefully drizzle these over them 
and then we are going to bake in the center of our preheated oven for 30 minutes. That is for a regular bunk pan. I'm gonna keep an eye on mine. I think mine will only take 15 to 20 minutes. That's the bonus too of making little bunts is that they cook a lot faster. So I just take this and just drizzle a little bit. Careful to avoid the middle of your bunt pan because obviously that will just go straight onto your countertops and then you would have wasted all of the yummy, ooey goodness that is monkey bread. Um, if you want to add any ingredients to this, what you would do is you would kind of toss it in with the cinnamon and sugar with those little biscuit rolls and then you'd have them kind of ease, evenly displaced throughout them and you could enjoy extra chocolate in there or pecans. Oop, that went down the middle. Pecans, raisins, butterscotch. I bet you could even melt some peanut butter, um, um, ch peanut butter chips in there if you wanted to. I always make more drizzle than what it calls for. Cause this recipe called for three cans and I obviously am only doing two, but the caramel part in the middle of the monkey bread is my favorite part. Um, I know I'm pushing the limit with these butt pans. So on the safe side of things, I am gonna grab one of my baking sheets to put under so that if it starts to bubble over, it will catch that and not burn into the bottom of my oven. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this on the rack underneath. Make sure when you open this, you guys, you let all that heat escape. I'm gonna just slide this onto the bottom rack and I'm gonna put this on the top rack. There we go. I'm gonna set my timer for 15 minutes just to be on the safe side of things. And we are gonna do our giveaway. Yes, of course, Crystal, we have done that. I love, we love caramel in this family. We have put it on everything. I'm good, Eileen, I am doing good. Hopefully we can get together soon and do a little cooking show. <sighs> nope, you can do bacon. That would probably be good for some of you that love bacon like that. You could do little crumbles of bacon in there with your, your monkey bread. Yes. Most kids love monkey bread. Um, my kid likes it, but only eats very small amounts of it, and then his tummy starts to hurt. So that's a good thing he doesn't overeat it, but we are going to do our giveaway. What that means, if you are new here, leave a reaction down at the bottom of the post. Right here. Leave a reaction at the bottom of the post to get entered into the giveaway. It doesn't matter which one you hit, how many times you hit it, your name will go in just one time to the giveaway. It will be a Pampered Chef giveaway. If you've already won for the month of June, you cannot will win again, but you can in the next month. So always keep up with watching. Thank you for sharing, Lakin. We are going to wait a little bit and then we're gonna refresh the page again. Um, one thing I do want to bring up again, you guys, so those of you that have just popped on, we are doing an amazing deal right now with Pampered Chef. And I want to let you guys in on it because nobody has hit me up yet. Nobody wants to get entered into this giveaway with Pampered Chef. But right now, if you use my link and you buy any of these sale items, so we've got the ice cream maker set, which is normally $103. It's $89, you guys, for an ice cream maker set, um, which comes with the spade, the ice cream maker, and the silicone lid that goes over it. A quicksicle maker, you guys, who doesn't love making little popsicles in the summertime? Normally $65 on sale for $49. Grilling tool set, $85 on sale for $69. Um, summer picnic set, like I said, this thing keeps your potato salad cool, your um, pasta salad cool while you are outside. You put it in the freezer and then you put it your item in there and take it outside and it stays cool. Um, wine tumblers and a bag, travel bag. So two tumblers and a travel bag. Normally $68 on sale for $49, you guys. So if you add one of those items into your cart and check out, you can add other items too, but you need at least one of these. 
and you use my link that's on this post down here at the bottom, okay? It's party forward slash summer fun sale. So you go on there, you place an order. When you place an order, you get entered in to win the 5.5 mini cast iron pans. So I'm sure a lot of you are like, well, I don't really need those and what are those? And they are to die for you guys. They are so cute. They're awesome for making little cookies, s'mores, um, I can show you some of the other recipes that we use with them at the end of the show, you guys. But what I am really excited. So you get entered in to win these little, whoop, it's loading, little guys that you can put, they're cast iron, so you can put them on the grill, you can put them on the campfire grate, you can put them in your oven, on your stove, whatever you want to do. Super awesome. Super cool, super cute. So if you just buy one of those items today or tomorrow, you get entered in to win a set of those. Carissa, I don't know if you heard, but the grill set, so normally it's 85, right now it's 69 on the summer sale. Thank you guys, thank you for the cute nails. Yes, Crystal, yours are coming so soon, you guys. I hope you guys all win. Cinnamon rolls instead of buttermilk biscuits, you Bet, Misty, yes, you can use cinnamon rolls instead of biscuits. That's what I love about this recipe is you can personalize it any way you want. Yes, Crystal, you guys, all you have to do is buy one of our summer sale items and you get entered in to win um, the little mini cast iron pans. It's a $45 value um, and it's uh, so awesome, you guys, because I get entered in to win and you get entered in to win and we could both win these pans and we can make awesome recipes together. All right, so I'm hoping everybody got their reactions in on the post while I was jibber jabbering because I am going to refresh the page and we are going to pull a winner. Winner, winner. Yes, Crystal Marie, who's on right now, she is the one who did my awesome apron I was talking to you guys about. She's Crystal's custom apparel. I tried to tag your company, Crystal, but it would not let me. So if you want to tag it, I will pin it to this post so that they can check out your awesome work that you do here to support local North Dakota. I told you guys, she's a woman. She's a Native American. She's awesome and she's a business owner and I just highly, highly recommend that you guys check out her work. She can literally personalize anything. Screen printing, embroidery, you name it, she is your gal. She is my gal at least for any personalizing I've ever needed. I've got a bunch of stuff to start giving away when I start doing in-home parties with Pampered Chef, um, some tote bags and um, just a bunch of awesome, some shirts and some hats, some awesome personalized stuff that I will start giving away when I start doing in-home Pampered Chef parties, which I can't wait to do. I know with the whole COVID stuff, I'm gonna have to be patient, but I am excited to be cooking in other people's houses and making awesome Pampered Chef recipes because they are really yummy recipes. So I'm just sorting the names now Hello, Monisha. How are you? Brie and other Brie. I love you too, Crystal. With all of my heart, I love you. All right, here we go. Here we go. Just getting these names sorted. And then we will do our giveaway. Do, 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 do. We have a little over 100 people entered into the giveaway, which is awesome. You guys did great today with the sharing and the hanging out and not ditching me while we're hanging out. <laughs> Just giving you guys a hard time. I still love you all. All right, here we go. The names have been sorted. Do, 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 do. It's still a struggle. So I went this weekend, you guys, to figure out if they could uh, fix my computer screen and I ended up leaving Best Buy in tears. So needless to say, I don't know if my computer screen is ever gonna get fixed. It was not a good day, you guys. I was not impressed, not happy. That would be so fun, Deb. I'd be totally down to travel. 
<laughs> Mike, you always try to nominate yourself. You can try to nominate, but I don't know if it'll work. Crystal, if you're still watching, will you pick two numbers between 1 and 12? Two numbers between 1 and 12, and those will be our winners today. We're about halfway through cooking our monkey bread, and I was right. It is making a huge mess in my oven, but at least I prepared and stuck a pan underneath. Um, Susan, I did leave a voicemail with the computer store is who I called, but they obviously over the weekend, I don't think they're open. Um, Cassidy, it is a MacBook Air 3.3 is what it's called. Crystal picks two and eight. So here we go, you guys, two and eight. Number one. Yes, Eileen, I am totally down for that. Crystal, number one. Hello, Megan. Number two, Diana Sandsmark. Diana Sandsmark, you are our first winner tonight. Send me your name, your email, your phone number, and your shipping information, and I'll get something sent off to you. Congratulations as the first winner. Number three, we don't, Cassidy. It is so sad. We do not have an Apple store close by. Mookie, number Four. Rose. Number five. Carista. Number six. Right, Crystal. <laughs> Jamie. Number seven. Deborah and number eight, our second winner tonight. Hello, Jason. Alexis Standish. Alexis, Alexis, it must have been because you were commenting today. You have won again, sweet girl. So I will get something sent off to you. I might even have some stuff here in stock that I can just take over to your house. Yes, just barely missed it, you guys. All right. So we've got about five more minutes on them. I can't wait to post pictures for you guys, but I'm gonna have to tend to the mess that I am making in my oven before I post a picture. But thank you guys for hanging out with me. I will probably see you. I think I'm gonna switch to Tuesday nights, Thursday nights, and Sundays. Sundays or Saturdays. That's what I think. Because I keep ending up on Sundays and Mondays and I have shows back to back. So I think that's what I'm gonna start, start doing. You'll see me Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays or Sundays. How's that sound? Like a plan? Yes, Betty, someday, I promise. Just keep watching. It is completely random, and I love you all, and I wish you could all win, but we will work through it the best we can. And I will check out computer tech. Is that what you're saying, Susan? Yes, computer tech. Okay, I'm gonna like the comment so I don't forget. I will call them tomorrow and compare because Best Buy told me um, they the soonest they could get it back to me was a month and that the minimum it was gonna cost me was 600 bucks and my computer only cost 900. So that's why I left in tears. The guy was not helpful. He basically said, um, you should take it somewhere else because we are so backed up and it's gonna cost you so much money that it's not gonna be worth it. Or you can sit here and buy a new computer today. That's what he tried to convince me of and it was not good, you guys. I, I did, I left in tears and I felt bad because he felt bad, but it was not good. I didn't wanna hear that. <laughs> I was ready to just drop it off and be like, hey, I'll come back in two weeks, bye. And it didn't. <sighs> Take out tech support plan. I've got um, a Best Buy support plan that saves me 10%, but he was basically saying that still wasn't going to be worth it. Sometimes, Sherry? Okay, so I'll be real with you guys. In the last month, I've had three unclaimed prizes because I don't chase after you. If you want to win, you will come back and check if you won. And if they don't come back to me, I don't say anything I even commented one time and said something to the girl and she still didn't come back so it is what it is you guys all right have a good night you guys I will see you Tuesday right Susan you should because he was a bully all right have a good night you guys <laughs>